All right, hey guys. I know it's kind of early in the week, but I'm going to be doing my full review of Liquid Smooth Jelly Bean ROM. This is their beta 2.0. Let's jump into settings. It's gone to about phone. Just yeah, my sorry. I've been using my phone a lot lately. So if we go down to about phone, you see Liquid JB version 2.0. Oh, does it focus on my phone? There. Now you can see it. Liquid JB version 2.0 release candidate 3. Uh, they don't have a little uh, Easter egg. We see Android 4.1. If we go up, we have the same developer options. So, the main part of this ROM, of course, is the Liquid Splasher and Theme Chooser. They also have Advanced, which is kind of like the AOKP versions. As you can see, you can mess with your color multipliers and your vibrator to tune back up. Uh, settings so let's jump right in the liquid splasher actually so first thing you can do from here is you can go to team liquid this is who they are see there's liquid 0624 if you want to follow him on twitter liquid's girl he man shoe i think that's how you say it no coast j day not even gonna try so let's go back as you see we can go to display this is where you can turn on your rotations. So if you want to rotate your phone all the way upside down, and then also your lock screen, which is pretty cool. So if you want to rotate your lock screen, you can go ahead and do that. So let's go back. You can mess with your notification light. You can mess with colors, stuff like that. That's usual in AOKP and other ROMs. Um, <laughs> interface, you can change the carrier text, volume key cursor control kill all button when you go to recent apps right there um, force tablet UI LCD density boot animations alarm like just normal stuff like that it's in like AOKP one thing that sets this apart from the X is kind of like the code name Android you can have 10 so if I log it and I don't find you guys like crazy I have 10 targets or eight eight yeah see I have email Gmail camera google plus facebook plume and of course i can just unlock it and also you can change the targets alignment you can change the clock alignment you know lock screen color weather calendar screen you know the usual right so navigation bar it's kind of exactly like aokp you can have up to seven change them to whatever you want any color that you want um power menus when you press and hold down the power button of course because you see i have a custom theme in case you didn't notice, that's why everything is kind of a uh, themed how it is with like the background and stuff like that. So if we go to sound, you got the quiet hours, change your volume panel. My nephew's beating on my door with a golf club. Just ignore the sound. <laughs> oh, uh, usual face. Most of the stuff is in a AOKP actually. You have the AOKP toggles, and also you have the Cyanogen mod toggles. So you can choose which ones you want to have, or you, you can have them both. So you see I only have the one row where there's uh, Cyanogen Mod toggles, because I like the, how Cyanogen Mod looks. Because if you notice, AOKP kind of bunches up. Like, Cyanogen Mod, they fully expand. Sorry, we're blinding you. See how they expand all the way across? That's what I think is cool about, about that. Um, status bar, let's go here. You can have your custom battery icon style. You can have icon only text, icon with text, circle mod. See, it says 13%. Um, you can have battery icon and notifications. Well, if you clear it all. And then, see, battery icon up there in the top right. Um, let's see. You can, of course, have your custom clock styles, clock colors, AM, PM, day of the week. As you see up there, the center clock. Um, change colors, brightness control, and notification counts. Basically, this ROM is a lot like AOKP. Actually, it's exactly the same to me as Codename Android. I don't, if you guys use Codename Android, there's really no point in switching, if you ask me. Of course, if you want to, though. Of course, course kernel. <laughs> you can mess with stuff under there. Turn off fast star so I can manage my computer. You can mess with the processor. I have set CPU, so I don't really mess with that. And of course, you have your startup tweaks. 
it takes a minute to open. Wow, it takes a lot to open, actually. And I don't know what's that. Wow. Let's see. I, oh, here we go. It already opened. Fail. Of course, you can mess with stuff like that. Let's go back. If we go to theme chooser, I'll show you guys a theme I'm using. MC Escher. I believe that's how you say it. Let's go back. Custom. You know, I don't really have any custom sound or display options. So let's go to display. You have the standard jelly bean types. And of course, you know, I'm using Nova Launcher. I bought the Prime. It was like 25 cent the other day. So, of course, I'm using Nova Launcher. Let's go to wallpapers. It doesn't come with any uh, of its own wallpapers. So, if you, like AOKP has their own. Let's go to wall, wallpapers launcher. As you can see, it comes with this blue hued uh, stock jelly bean wallpaper that just kind of gives me a headache. No, it's not the camera. I know my camera sucks, but that's actually how it looks on the phone. Like that bluish hue. I don't know what, but like why they would do something like that. But let's go to the app drawer. Doesn't come with any custom apps actually either. So I, I know I didn't do like an install video, but I figured you guys are tired of my install videos by now. So I'm going to do a weekly. I'm going to do. Three or two two ROMs a week. So keep that in mind. I'm going to do more than likely two. Mondays are going to be my Galaxy Nexus, of course. Um, of course, probably Wednesday, I'm going to have my um, Nexus 7, which I'm still trying to fix because I've had issues with the kernel. I'm using the Faux 123 kernel and it kind of my tablet won't charge. It won't turn on. It's kind of gone at the moment so give me a minute to try to fix that and I'm going to be doing the code name Sammy I believe it was called because I kind of look cool. Of course it's touch whiz but I don't of course you have Nova settings and stuff like I mean Nova launcher and Apex launcher so you got this has a pretty cool boot animation I, I want to show you guys that actually so I'm gonna go to reboot and I'm going to go to reboot phone and I'm gonna show you guys the custom boot animation Let's see if I can get it set up oh oh no issues so far so I'm gonna focus did it focus it focused first time in a while thumbs up for that and also a thumbs up for this awesome fruit Del Monte. It's awesome. Just throwing that up. Oh, so good. And it takes a minute to boot up, by the way. And also, th thumbs up for apples. They're good for you. Did it just did it reboot twice? Oh, here we go. Tell me that is not like the most awesome boot animation you have ever seen in your life. Well, not of all time, but like, look how just that is awesome. And if you guys have a like, if you guys want me to review a certain ROM, leave it in the comments below of this video or my Nexus Seven videos. Or if you guys want me to review apps, review kernels. Don't ask me to review like kernels that suck, please, because <laughs> I don't really want to be using it for a few days to test out battery life and stuff like that. When it's booting up, you can tell because my battery's not. Again, if this video helped you, make sure to hit that like button down there, subscribe up there, and if you need help with anything, follow me on Twitter at Brandon underscore 0818, it's my YouTube name, and that's an Android because, because Android, why not, right? And it just went to camera because it's awesome like that.
Alright guys, this is my review of Liquid Smooth. I should probably get into battery. With with uh, using the kernel that came with this, it gives me a full day's battery use, by the way. Like, that's kind of heavy use too, by the way. So, remember that. Alright guys, that was my full review slash looking at the settings slash follow me on Twitter slash... Sorry, I'm done. I'm done. Slash buy this fruit.